The last time the Fed raised interest rates, there was no such thing as an iPhone, and Twitter was just the sound that birds made. Since when, there's been the great housing crisis in the US, when hundreds of thousands lost their homes. Lehman Brothers went under, causing the greatest financial crisis of modern times. And after that, an economy as flat as a Midwestern prairie. But now, finally, at the end of 2015, with unemployment falling and inflation nudging upwards, action. The economic recovery has clearly come a long way, although it is not yet complete. Room for further improvement in the labor market remains, and inflation continues to run below our longer run objective. But with the economy performing well, and expected to continue to do so, the committee judged that a modest increase in the federal funds rate target is now appropriate. And part of the Fed's judgment was based on this, a sound that hasn't been heard much in the US these past few years, drills and saws building houses again. And here in Richmond, Virginia, the talk is no longer of foreclosure and repossession, but of sales and growth. This building supplies firm during the downturn had to close 10 branches and lay off dozens of workers. Now, for the first time, its turnover is back to pre-crash levels. Our people took a pay cut, our officers took a bigger pay cut, and I went without salary for three years. But we were determined to get through it, and, uh, and we did. But what about the risks of raising the cost of borrowing? Is it too soon? A question I put to this former Federal Reserve economist. The risks of moving too fast are that you kill uh, the economy just when it's doing well, and of course that's always the case. But we've seen a number of countries that have tried to raise rates in the past few years and have realized it was a mistake and had to go back. So the Fed really doesn't, the Fed waited longer and uh, hopefully has waited long enough. Perhaps more significant than today's decision is what the committee said about the future direction of travel. The clear indication is that rates will continue to rise, albeit gradually. That's a vote of confidence in the health of the US economy. Whether other countries struggling around the world will see it that way, well, that's a different matter. John Sopel, BBC News, Washington.